Well, greetings and welcome, everyone. This is another episode of Carl's Spirits. In fact, this is episode 68 tonight. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be looking at a product out of Nevada called Smoke Wagon. Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon Whiskey. That's Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is uh, one of those brands that is uh, relatively new in the bourbon world. And like many of those new brands, uh, they are relying on MGP stock uh, to uh, get started to produce their offerings. Unlike many others, and this is my opinion only, what the good folks at Smoke Wagon are doing uh, with their MGP juice is very solid custom work. I really have enjoyed this bottle. It was established back in 2012 by two men, Aaron Chapetnik and Jonathan Hinsley. And they named their distilling company the Nevada H and C Distilling Company, Chapinick and Hensley H and C. Uh, this is uh, located in Sin City, excuse me, Las Vegas, Nevada. And their original plan was that they were going to source their initial juice from MGP while they worked on distilling their own product. However, during the middle of all this, Nevada law changed, and the pair were forced to make a decision: do one or the other. And so they decided to become rectifiers. Now, a rectifier is a very fancy word that means a blender. And what they're doing is blending different vintages of their juice to get a consistent flavor. Now, guys, almost every distillery does this. If unless it's a single barrel, it's been blended from many different barrels of different ages, from different warehouses, from different floors and warehouses, to get a consistent flavor. So this is nothing really new. But Smoke Wagon was born out of this back in 2012. They came out, they have come out rather, with three bourbon offerings. They have uh, the straight, which we're gonna be tasting tonight. They have a small batch, which we're going to taste in a later episode. And they have an uncult, uncut, unfiltered bourbon, which is a barrel proof offering. They also offer the you know obligatory vodka. And all these come in very distinctive bottles. You may have noticed this is a very uh, ornate design here on the front. Uh, you have these raised, or actually in this case it's screen printed, excuse me, uh, sage or desert sage imagery. And this is the state flower of Nevada. Now the other bottles have raised etched glass. It's really distinctive. We also have the company logo, two six shooters, Colt Peacemaker, six shot revolvers above the company's motto. Company's motto is in Latin and it comes from Seneca, who was a uh, philosopher. And the motto is, and I have never taken Latin, uh, so I had to listen to Google Translate a couple of times and I'm sure I'm still gonna get it wrong, but Bibimus Moriendum Esta. And basically it translates as drink for we must die drink for we must die or as the uh, good folks at smoke wagon say drink and enjoy for we may not be here tomorrow i think that's a really cool motto by the way uh, drink and enjoy for we may not be here tomorrow so the bourbon is distilled in indiana it's shipped to nevada it's aged in nevada it is then bottled in nevada in the uh, smoke wagon uh, warehouses and according to their company notes the barrels that are used to make the straight bourbon are all aged in the top two floors of their Las Vegas warehouse. They are never rotated. And so these barrels get exposed to very high heat. Remember, basic science, heat rises. Uh, combined with non-chill filtering, so they're not removing any of the, the uh, fatties or anything like that out of it. Uh, this causes the bourbon to really retain quite a bit of flavor and character and dimension according to the company notes. So let's see what it really does for me. Like I said, I have had several sips out of this and enjoyed it, but uh, right away in the glass, again, uh, I really think this is a really pretty bourbon. It has a lot of um, honey characteristics to it, including the color. It's a very honeyed copper, if you will. The mash bill here is MGP's high rye mash bill. 
and they claim that 60% corn, 36% rye, and only 4% malted barley. How old is it? Well, uh, sources at the uh, Smoke Wagon Distillery claim it's four to five, uh, but it's not stated. Uh, it's at least two years since it is labeled as straight. And it's at a very easy to sip 92.5 proof. So that's what we're looking at tonight in this Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon. All right, so on the nose right away, sweet honey caramel grabs your attention. Remember I said there's a lot of honey characteristics here. A lot of honey and a lot of caramel, very sweet as you nose this pour. You also get some vanillas and I think there's a more of a toasted oak flavoring going on here. Uh, scent, excuse me, not flavor. It's a really light, delicate scent. It's very approachable. And uh, there is no uh, distinction of spice here whatsoever. It's a very light, light scent. Wow, that is really good. It's got a great medium mouthfeel, and it's very creamy and sweet at the front. And as it travels across your palate, uh, that rye spice kind of makes itself known very loudly. Now, not for long though. So it's not off-putting, it's just like, hello, here's the spice, let's go back to sweet. Very, very kind of a cool transition from sweet to spice to sweet or at least it is for me. And you would expect that rye sweetness to really pop up with that high rye mash bill that we just mentioned. There's definitely some toffee notes here. Um, I also get that toasted oak really coming through as well. But to me, the foundation for this particular pour especially as you get it toward the back of your palate is a very earthy tobacco. Very earthy tobacco really is the foundation here. It is followed by the vanillas and the caramels that really pop after that spice fades away, but you get that long flavor of tobacco sweetness, oak sweetness, oak, toasted oak, not an oak char, but a toasted oak. It's a very um, sweet oak uh, flavor here. Really, there seems to be a lot of flavor in this pour, or at least there does to me. Uh, a lot greater than what I think a 92 proof should probably have. Uh, usually as the proof goes down, more water has been added and therefore more flavor has been lost. That doesn't seem to be the case with Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon. The finish, as I said, is spicy, but then it changes to a very creamy sweetness of caramel again, very reminiscent of the nose, how that caramel really popped out sweet. Uh, and finally, you do get a nice Kentucky hug down into your throat and upper chest. It doesn't last very long, not like some of the other big boys do, but it's a really nice, nice finish. So my takeaway here is this is an entry level bottle for Smoke Wagon. And I feel its price point, which is anywhere from between $25 to $35, depending where you can pick it up, um, is awesome. And it's got a great flavor profile and its character, I think, really make this a winner. I feel that it could easily uh, outperform many other higher priced bourbons on the market right now. I really believe that the good folks at Smoke Wagon have achieved exactly what they set out to do. And that was to create an everyday drinking bourbon. My take on this is that while this isn't the entry level, uh, this is a pour that should satisfy a lot of people as long as they like that tobacco foundation. I like that earthy tobacco kind of smoky flavor. A lot of people don't. They like a floral or an herbal. I prefer that earthy foundation. This is really in my wheelhouse. That said, on the Carl scale, I'm going to give this a solid 4.0. That's 4.0 out of 5 on the Carl scale. I think it's just a great solid product at a really great price point. If this was more widely available and the flavors uh, more accessible to most bourbon drinkers, and I think they are, um, this would rate a little higher, I think. But right now, the scarcity of this is um, what's really holding this back. It's not available in uh, our area at all. 
Uh, in fact, I got this bottle. Some friends and I went together. We ordered this bottle, and um, it really has turned out to be a very solid, solid uh, acquisition. And so, having said that, guys, Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon, I really think it's a solid pour. I think if you ever have the chance to sample or buy a bottle, go for it. It's well worth your time, and it's worth that $25 to $35. Guys, I want to wish everyone... Uh, Peace and happy pours.